my teaching powers inspire young minds. Oh. Set imaginations on fire. <laughs> uh, but not literally. <laughs> and destroy ignorance forever. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to be a teacher. Wow. Teaching is that cool? Sometimes. For tomorrow, I want you to prepare a presentation on what you want to be when you grow up. What if we don't know? I won't deduct marks if you're wrong 20 years from now, so just pick something. One does not choose one's destiny. A warrior follows the path set by the heavens. If you don't give me an answer, your destiny is to fail the assignment. Hmm. If I am to know my future, then I must search the stars. Uh, Bill, are you sure this is the sky? Pretty sure. It's up. Up is sky country. Then where are the stars? Have they been devoured by the ravenous sky snake? Uh, I don't think we have those here. Light pollution from town is so bright, it blocks out the stars. Why do you need to see them so badly? The star shapes give us much knowledge. Tigerius, the tiger of lies, warns us of approaching trickery. If we see the lunch of a thousand years, we know to skip our next eight meals. The stars would tell me what is to come when I grow up. If they were not defeated by your town's ball bat arena. If you really want to see stars, I know the place. Are you on the oh. roof? <laughs> what are you doing on the roof? We call it a planetarium. Ha, <laughs> Bill. One cannot see the stars from under a roof. By the stone back of stone back. Someone has trapped the stars inside this medium-sized hut. What powerful sorcery is this? Wise druids, I ask your guidance, though I have no offering of spices or cakes. And the mood's stuck again. I'm on it. Bill, you came back. No one ever comes back. Hi, Carl. Bill, you know this druid king? We came here on a field trip once, but Carl's not a druid. He's an astronomer. That projector puts the stars up on the ceiling, and we sit back and love it up. Mighty astronomes, show me my fate on the undersky of your mystical star barn. What does he want? I must know my destiny for Miss Jillian's school labor. <laughs> so, you want the stars to tell you your future, huh? Maybe they'll fill you with fear and break your spirits! That's actually a solid idea. Ah! Looking up, a guide to sky magic. The rainy dayclops? Not ominous enough. Fail Conus, the falcon of failure? Too beaky. Gaseous, the lunch pig? Oh, stars are so lame. Ah, the moon bear of no tomorrow. This'll terrify the barbarian mongrel. He'll drop my toe like it's hot lava. Now, to move the very stars themselves. read your star shapes. They make no sense. Stars don't really tell you your destiny. They're just stars. You'll have to choose your own answer for Miss G. Hey, do you guys want to see the laser show? Ow! Ow! Oh, that always happens. Ah, keep it, Bill. I've got tons. Anyone else hear that? Great! <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Come back soon. Bill! Bill! Your bed floats in lava, Bill! <laughs> ah, good! You were not consumed by the lava. How did I get there? You put me there! Why did you put me there? You must learn to survive if you are to be the sole protector of Drool's toe. What? What are you talking about? I have seen the moon bear of no tomorrow. What are you talking about? When the moon bear of no tomorrow appears to a barbarian, they must set aside their burdens and meet him in the wilderness. That could mean anything. No, the berry too. I did not expect this omen until I was at least 13. Hold on. You see a bear shape on a ceiling, so now you're going to give me the toe? 
and wander off into the woods? To be devoured by the bear? Yes. You must be prepared to carry the toe alone. To the training room! They're just big balls of gas. Stars aren't alive. <laughs> the sun doesn't get chased out of the sky by the moon. They just go in circles. <laughs> and and by, by, by the way, humans have been to the moon. Ha! Only Stoneback can go to the moon. Are you Stoneback, Bill? No. But I know the stars don't say anything, and even if they did, you don't have to obey them. I must obey my destiny, and you must take the toe. And put out your sock fire. <laughs> yes, Bagbone! Leave my toe with Bill, who sets his feet on fire and can barely do, like, one chin off. I basically already won. Ooh, I might even make popcorn. In fact... I need to. You have to listen to reason. Or science. Or common sense. I do not. I am a barbarian. Oh, then maybe you listen to them. <sighs> if you are trying to stop me, I outnumber you one to six. I called everyone so they can tell you how they chose what they want their future to be. I'm going to be a glitterologist and make the brightest sparkles They'd make a rainbow if it wasn't three in the morning. I want to be tall, so I'll work on stuff that's tall, like tall buildings. I'll get to see the tops of everyone's heads. I think it's cool. Completely free! We get it. Next! I want to be so over this, okay? Like, so over it. So, I'm over it. See? We all chose what we want our future to be. And so can you. Now we're choosing to go home to bed. I am sorry, Bill. Even if you do not understand, I must walk my path. You will find yours. But I thought my path was to protect the toe with you. I don't want to do it by myself. I'm kind of scared. But you are brave, and you will not quit. Often, that is enough. Farewell, Bill. We are battle brothers. Always. Bye, Fangmo. Don't go, Fangmo. <laughs> You can't let him leave like that! <clears throat> What am I saying? Ow! There! Not again! Yes! Now, let's get back my toe! Wow. It really looks like a bear. Okay, baby, just unplug it. Have you still nothing for me, Sky of Earth? Moonbear! You are eager to face Thangbone of the Mighty Lizard Clan! I will not slide down your throat so easily! Huh? But... but... I... I obeyed the Omen! Why do you attack my village? Moonbear! If you do not follow your destiny, then neither will I! I'm sorry, I didn't think you were real! need a stronger light. Ah, victory! This tiny light sword is too tiny. We have to outshine it. Make it follow us. That will not be difficult. I would like to be there now. Over here! Uh, Bill? Eat photons, light bear! Yes! I knew they could do it! I knew it! I knew it! Wait, what? No, no! I'm sorry, Bill. I see now that it is foolish to follow a destiny one cannot see. From now on, I will choose my own, and I choose 
to keep the toe safe with you. Battle Brothers forever! We still need to pick something for Miss Jillian's assignment. Hmm. And that is why, when I grow larger, I will still be Bill's friend. And I'll still be his. I like the bear made of stars, even if the laser pointer was a little convenient. But you didn't really complete the assignment. So, I'll have to give you a... Astronomers! We want to be astronomers! Yes, as astronomes, we will crush light pollution under our heels and once again reveal your stars of night! Good enough for me. Okay, guys, the projector is magic. We should probably put on robes and start chanting. Futurum in Stellis. Futurum in Stellis. Futurum in Stellis.